There's a storm that continues over the big pharma giant. Not so big anymore. It's lost a lot of its market share. The federal government now accusing Mylan of overcharging the federal state Medicaid program by millions of dollars over five years for its emergency auto injector EpiPen. The company, which has lost billions in market cap since the scandal broke in August, could face serious liability over this latest charge. Mylan quickly becoming the poster child in congressional hearings over the past couple of weeks for excessive drug price increases. You know the story. They jacked up the price of their life-saving EpiPen by nearly 550 percent, and people want to know why. Well, these two guys, Silicon Valley originals who have spent their entire careers engineering and pricing out products piece by piece, could have told the U.S. government long ago it might be getting ripped off. Late last month, they decided to take it upon themselves to reverse engineer an EpiPen, meaning pick it apart. A pack of three EpiPens, two EpiPens rather, currently retails for more than $700. But Roland Krevet and Bob Wallace came up with a startling estimate. Eight dollars and two pennies to make the EpiPen. Roland Krevet and Bob Wallace join us live now in a Fox Business exclusive from Mountain View, California. Welcome, gentlemen. Roland, I'm going to start with you. What inspired you and Bob to do this, to pull apart the EpiPen and reverse engineer it? Well, well you might be yeah. interested in Go knowing ahead. how this whole thing started. Mm -hmm. Tracy is allergic to bees, so she carries one of these EpiPens with her. So she wrote this article for the paper, and she used the word cost. So I jump on her. I say, look, there's no relation. The word you should have used was price. There is no relation between cost of a manufactured article and the price. All the products that are made in, in the world right. are based on the production cost. It has no relation whatever to the price of an object. Hmm. And that's how this whole thing started. Well, Roland, to you, Mylan's corporate tagline is seeing is believing. Clearly, you guys didn't believe what you saw. So tell me, Roland, how you went about reverse engineering the pen. How, how do you do that? Well, first. That was to me. No. Roland. Okay. That's okay. Well, here, here's the kit. Um, Tracy gave me the pen. Bob had cut it open, and I collected all the parts. Okay. And then I've been doing this for well over 30 years, where I weigh each part. I make certain assumptions about the material, the material mm -hmm. cost, how long uh, the cycle time is in the injection molding machine that makes the part, and then I come up with a cost. This part, for instance, uh, cost. 8.14 cents. I can be very, very precise. Mm. So I did that with every one of these parts, just took it all apart, added it all up, and we came up, including the chemicals, here's the business end of, of this thing, um, and it came, we came up with 8.2 cents, eight point, yeah, $8.02. Wow. So, and, and this was on the high side, I want to stress that, that okay. I made some very, very conservative estimates and assumptions so in reality, it's probably 50 cents less than what we came up with, but I wanted to be safe. Uh, this is incredible, and you've already had people outraged because they felt that they were getting gouged. Back in 2007, when Mylan bought the company that makes the EpiPen, it cost 57 bucks for one. Now at retail, if you walk into a CVS, you, you pay about 700. Bob, um, you're a self-described cheapskate. Um, and you're an inventor. Yes. I, I just look at this and I think, what must have been going through your mind when you saw that the price had been hiked that much? Well, first off, I'd never seen this package. So I went over to the local CVS uh, pharmacy and I said, I'd like to see this. So they bring this out and the gal there gives me this price. I think it was $723.99. Yeah. I don't know why that is. But then I... My background is in engineering and sometimes science. So, so, I, so she gave me a sample that Roland just showed you, and I slipped the thing open to see what, what all the components were. And I happened to know of a, a plastic extruding company, so I brought it up to them, and I said, well, what do you think this costs to extrude all of these, or sh I should use the word mold, to mold all of these plastic parts? She said, oh, 
maybe five to ten dollars. Wow. Well, well, let well, me jump in here. Let me jump in here, Roland, because because we've got a hurricane um, and it's right. one storm to another. But but <laughs> Roland, you, you've worked at Hewlett Packard. You worked at Apple on the original no, mouse. No, uh, no. Roland, I put it's in okay. Time. I'm talking to Roland. One, one second. So Roland, all of these things that you've done, this is your business. If you had the CEO, Heather Bresch, of Milan in front of you, what would you say to her, keeping in mind, and to be fair, that you guys don't take into account things like um, making sure that it's, it, the testing is done properly or that you're in sanitized conditions, what would you say to her about the price of the EpiPen, Roland? I'd have to think about what I would say to her because I should be polite, but it's, it's really hard to be polite when somebody is obviously ripping off the public. Listen, it's great to have both of you. Uh, I hope you'll watch along with us as this uh, develops. But we should tell you, we did reach out to Mylan. Uh, since this began, they have not returned our calls. Uh, and, and I would mention the stock is currently hitting a 52-week low right now for Mylan, $36.92. That's a one-week, but it is a one-year low right now.